How's it going there guys? This is Apple Tech coming at you guys with the top 5 Cydia tweaks for your iOS 5 devices. Now today we're going to be looking at 5 tweaks you may or may not already know and if you guys want to see more tweaks I do have a playlist it will be right in your face so you guys can click on that or visit the link in the description below. So guys this is episode 17 so let's get started. So the first one I got for you guys folks is called Music Banners. You can download this one from the Big Boss people for free. Now what this one simply does is whenever you invoke a song, it pops up with a music banner that it comes across your status bar. This is pretty cool because this works with mostly every song. When I say mostly, I mean songs that have a artwork to it. If that certain song doesn't have an artwork shown here, it will not pop up. So that could be the only downfall. So folks, once again, Music Banners in the Big Boss repo for free. So the second one I got for you guys is called Respring Fast. You can download this one from one of the default repos for free. Now what this tweak simply does, it gives you an icon on your springboard which allows you to fast respring. But you guys may want to go into the settings because it just tells you more about the tweak. So once you head over to your settings, you want to go to Respring Fast. And it just simply tells you that this is the fastest way you can respring. And if you want to delete it, you can do that from Cydia. So if we just tap on it, you guys can see that it does respring. And I got to say, it is a pretty fast respring. Now, this could be good if you guys want a quick respring or if you just have a new Cydia tweak that you just installed and you just want to respring your device. The only bad part is that you can't use it in any other app. You only can do it while you're at your home screen. So once again, this one's called Respring Fast. You can get it from one of the default respring repos for free. Now the third one I got for you guys is called Simplexity. You can find this one in the Insanely Eye repo for free. Now you can disable this and enable it right from the settings which is pretty a good feature. Now when I disable it you guys can see that you have your normal app switcher just like this. So Simplexity takes over your app switcher by just enabling it. You guys can see that it does take it over and you don't have your regular app switcher. Now all of this you can customize it through the settings so you can scroll through it to show all your apps. You can even swipe to the side and when you swipe to the side it does use switcher loader so you may want to get that one or it will just pre-install it when you install this one. And these are all widgets that are from switcher loader. So guys just to disable it you just simply tap on the home button and you're back to the settings. Now all of this is muchly just custom customizing the window, the texture, you can blur out the background, you can have a banner color, you can have round edges, it just has a boatload of customization to itself so you guys can see that you can change the color of the labels, you can change the color of the inactive and active apps. Another thing is you can customize the plugins that you have from Switcher Loader. For instance, the Kill Apps. You can customize that to your full advantage as well as the Wi-Fi plugin which is just a text color. You can move those RG sliders and that will change. No need to respring. So guys, that is much it for the settings. Once you activate it, you guys can see that you are greeted with Simplexity. It is a pretty simple app switcher. That's the name Simplexity. And you can just scroll through it. Now you can't touch on the letters themselves. It has to be on the icon. If you swipe to the side, you guys can see that my Wi-Fi color has changed. And if you want to delete one, you just simply swipe it to the side and it simply just deletes it just like that. You guys can see that it says slide to quit right there. So guys, that is much it. You can simply tap on the icon itself and it works just like that. Now the fourth one I got for you guys is called slide to mod. You can get this one in the mod my repo for free. Now this one you can enable and disable it. You get a few features instead of just customizing your label. You can do that as well if you want to. So I'm just going to simply tap on it and put in ATH. For Apple Tech helping, simply lock it, no need to respring, and you guys can see that it does actually work. Now you get a few more features with this, not like another one that just customizes the label. You have your date, your time, you can put nothing, you can hide your slideshow button, your camera if you want to. You can have a few more options on the bottom, which is media controls, hide the date, or custom title. That's where your music controls are on the top. And down here it says before you hide your slide to unlock, you want to have an activation method. So guys, once again, it's called slide to mod. You can find it in the mod my repo for free. Now the fifth one I got for you guys is called slide navigation for music. You can find this one in the big boss repo for free. Now what this tweak simply allows you to do is just swipe 
do your music instead of using that next button on the bottom so this is a very helpful thing if you guys want to swipe without even looking at your device you don't have to search for that next button you just simply swipe to the left or the right and it just makes listening to the music way more enjoyable so if you're a music lover i really encourage you guys to pick this one up you can even use it with one hand which is an awesome feature if you don't have swipe navigation for music and you listen to music a lot i don't know what you guys are doing without this tweak it's an awesome tweak that's mostly what it does once again swipe navigation for music in the big boss repo for free. So guys, that much concludes my top 5 Cydia tweaks for your iOS devices. And if you guys feel like being awesome, make sure to rate this video a thumbs up. You guys can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook. I also have an Instagram, which is Apple Tech Helping. And if you guys don't mind, you can also visit the site, which is itool.com. All links will be in the description below. So guys, that is much it for this episode. You guys know me. I'm Apple Tech. Catch you guys in the next one.